Okay, so brand new setup, guys, for Retro Watch. I've kind of neglected Retro Watch for a little while now, focusing more on Retro Bat, but now it's Retro Arch's turn. So I'm going to show you how to set up GameCube using Retro Arch. So obviously, you're going to need Retro Arch installed. I'm using the portable version of this. Uh, so there's two versions of Retro Watch you can get for Windows PC. You can either download an installer, which will install it to your hard drive, or you can just get a portable like I've got just here, where it's all located in one folder rather than the installation process. So what I'm going to do in my Retro Watch portable folder is firstly just create a new folder in here. So right click on the empty space, new folder, and I'm going to call this GameCube. And I've got my ever famous Auto Modelista ISO, which is obviously a GameCube game rip of my original. So I'm going to put this into the GameCube folder. And from here, I'm going to open up RetroWatch for the first time. I've literally just downloaded this version. And here we go. And if you need a setup guide to actually get in, up and running with RetroArch, if you're unfamiliar with RetroArch, then check out my playlists under RetroArch, and I've got you a setup guide there. So first thing we need to do is if we go to main menu, and I'm using a controller with this, is go to main menu, and what we're going to do is go to load core, download a core, and the core we need, and of course core, is pretty much an emulator which works with RetroArch. What we're looking for is Dolphin. And Dolphin is a GameCube and Wii core, or emulator, standalone emulator. And I've also got tutorials on that too. So we're looking for Dolphin, and it's likely going to be located under Nintendo. And the beauty is with emulation is that... Uh, some of these systems, they're not going to output any more than 480p. So, of course, with emulation, we can make these go up to 5 to 8k in some cases. So, it's a good way of getting your old games looking just pristine like new games. So, here's Nintendo GameCube and Wii Dolphin like I was talking about. If we just download this one and it now says Core Installed. And I'm going to back out this by pressing Circle. What we're going to do next, that game what we just put into the GameCube folder, we're actually going to import that GameCube game now. So if we just scroll down to import content, and what we're going to do here is just go into scan directory. And my game is obviously on my C drive, which is my desktop. And I'm going to look for that retro arch folder now. So to locate your desktop, if that's where you've got your game stored, it's going to be under users, more than likely, and it's going to be under your name of your computer. And we're just going to go into desktop from here, and we should see the RetroArch folder. So there we go, RetroArch Win64, and I should now see my GameCube folder. So what I'm going to do with this now is scan the directory, and if I back out of here, and again, we've now got GameCube located at the bottom. So if I just right scroll over to this one, so I'm highlighting it, and click on it to start it, I'm going to go to set core association, and if we set this one, this is what GameCube games are going to predominantly run with. And let's give my GameCube game some artwork. So if I just scroll back down GameCube and select Auto Modelista, if I go to the bottom, I'm going to download thumbnails. So let that download, and we now got a thumbnail for our game. Okay, so you've got your game imported and you've also got a thumbnail to go with it. So let's actually open up this game and I'm going to show you how to play with video settings to make your game look a lot better. So just one last thing, this is obviously an ISO format I ripped from my original disc. So let's just go to start this and just be sure, now this is optional, you set core association. So all your GameCube games run from this GameCube and Wii Dolphin core. Now, if I go to run, this should boot us straight in. Okay, so if I just close that there and go back into the RetroWatch menu, and I'm using my PS button on my PS3 controller to access this menu whilst the game is running uh, you'll notice just there there's a lot of lag going on so i'm going to show you how to change video settings to reduce it and to kind of match your specs of your pc or laptop so once you're back into the retro watch menu whilst your game is open go to main menu and then if you go to quick menu from here 
you should find a core options. So once you're in core options, we got a lot here to play around with. So it's quite likely this is a corporate why my game was lagging. I've got everything at max settings just to prove a point to show you how to do this. So first, firstly, I'm going to go to internal resolution. So right now it's on time six. So I'm going to just adjust this and I'm going to take it back down to say times three. And let's back out of this and go back into the game. See if that lag has disappeared. A little bit more tolerable, but we still got some video settings to play around with. So back into quick menu and core options. Something else which is quite likely causing a lag is my max anisotropy and anti-aliasing are pretty much at max. So if I put my anisotropy down to say 4 for now just to test and anti-aliasing is obviously at full whack. So I'm also going to drop this one down to 4 times. So let's just back out of here and run the game again. <laughs> So still not perfect and bear in mind I've got processors going on in the background of filming this video right now. So it's likely lagging because of that. But let me just show you. Quick menu. And again, I'm going to go to core options. And I'm going to drop this one down this time to say times two. Let's try this again. There you go. And it's running fine. So as you can see, there's no jagged edges because I've also enabled V-Sync on this and I've got anti-aliasing turned up slightly as well. If you do struggle running GameCube games, your best option is to go to that quick menu screen, core options, and this will define your core options, video options for the Dolphin emulator or core. So that's about it. That's the basic setup for GameCube through RetroArt. So I showed you the video settings for that. And also be sure to save your configuration in case RetroArch doesn't do it. You don't want to go through those settings each time you play. So also check me out on different social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, Stay retro!